Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Yeah, what a crazy time it is right now. I'm sure all of you know, and pretty much everywhere in the world is being majorly affected by certain virus going around. I'm not gonna say the name of it in this video because from what I've heard, people are getting demonetized and different things happening to their videos if they mention it, so won't be doing that. But yeah, my current situation is I'm here in Costa Rica. I was supposed to only be here for a week to renew my residency for spring break, but then after I got here, the whole situation got way crazier in the States and they closed the borders even here in Costa Rica and everything. So I'm actually just sitting it out here and you're kind of supposed to, you're supposed to be doing isolation and stuff here. And that's what I've been doing, but I am going out for this little excursion, but I'm not going to be in contact or near anybody else. I'm just going straight through the jungle. So hopefully we're good to go. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see where we're going but I'm gonna to try to film this whole section in just one shot. So it's like you experience this whole exploration. Maybe right now while you're stuck indoors, a lot of quarantines where you have to stay home. You can feel like you can, you can join me on this little, little adventure. Hopefully it'll be fun. It will be fun. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around and then chat with you guys about what's going on. So yes, here we go. Um, what else is going on? Oh, yes. Well, uh, what is that? Oh, there's just a bird over there in the bushes. So as I've talked about on my channel, I've been finishing up my last, my senior year of high school in the States, which was going very good. And I was actually, I actually just have a quarter of my school year left. And then now all of this is happening not ideal but hey it is what it is and a lot of what am i talking about um so what they've done with my schooling as well as tons and tons of other schools is switch to a like a homeschool type thing or pretty much all online so that's what i'm doing and that's why i'm able to stay here is because i'm doing all my school work online it's kind of returning to my homeschooling times no complaints there, but yeah. Um, I'll definitely say, I don't think the, situa the situation isn't great in Costa Rica, but it hasn't yet gotten as bad as in some other places, some other countries, also what I've been hearing in the States. And I'm not sure, the re it's definitely not good here. Like there's a lot of people losing their jobs and a lot of restaurants and things closing down for the moment. But, okay, I'm talking too fast. We're getting out of breath. I need to just slow down a little bit. This happens every time. Whew. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So what might make, be making it seem like it's not as bad here yet is because there's not as many people. So even though it's like you're supposed to stay inside and stuff, when you go out, there's obviously still people out doing stuff, but not. it's becoming less and less every day. Like, just about a week ago, they closed, or actually like half a week ago, they closed the border so you can't, like you can only come into the country if you're like a resident or something like that, but not if you're let's say like a tourist. So definitely been noticing everything empty out because a lot of Costa Rica is very, like very focused, relies a lot on tourism. So since the borders are closed and uh, there's a lot of way, there's nobody new visiting except for the people that are already here. Um, it's really having an impact on a lot of the stores, restaurants, shops, hotels, where pretty much all of their bookings are being canceled and they're having to lay off their workers. So, and I know this type of stuff is pretty much happening everywhere back in the States, at least in my town, from what I've heard from my friends and seen on the news, is pretty crazy with stuff like tons of spots being closed. So like, there's like really not that much to do. You kind of just have to stay at home and stay indoors. And then the only time you go out is to go to like the store to pick up stuff, food or something. So it's a pretty crazy time. And it's insane how fast everything escalated. You know, like things, 
you know, there was this virus that came up. People were talking about it. You know, it was in some spots, but it wasn't like crazy bad yet. And then itch has just been getting worse and worse extremely quickly. Ah! Which has been pretty insane. All right, so I'm almost at the beach. Now the beach is technically closed, so you're not supposed to be going to the beach, but I'm just going down real quick just to check up and see what it looks like because there's supposed to be police like kicking people off the beach and you're not supposed to be there and whatnot. But it's many times in Costa Rica it happens where they say stuff and then they, it's not like really enforced a ton. So I'm just curious to see what the beach is looking like. For sure not as many people. Whoa, let me fix that exposure that's a little bright. There we go. Maybe that's a little better. So there are a few people. Might be a little hard to see on the wide angle. There's a few people over here and whatnot, but way, way less than normal. So normally there would probably be, I feel like there could easily be 75 to 100 people along here. So just, heck, when was this? I think this was, yeah, this was yesterday. Was it yesterday or was it the day before yesterday? Okay, can't remember. But everyone was practicing isolation, staying at home, like self-quarantine type thing. Nobody was really going out. And then somehow like a mini forest fire started over here in the bushes. And I'm not sure if it was on purpose, like somebody started, but hopefully not. What I heard is there was somebody having like a little bonfire and then it was just really windy, really dry right now and it just kind of got out of control. And then pretty much all these plants, all these, you can probably see it a bit, all these shrubs and palm trees started burning. And like, it was like a, there was like a good little fire going on here. And there was like huge clouds of smoke making it way to like around my house. And it was like crazy amounts of smoke. So then I was like out here looking around and finally found it. And then when I got here, there was maybe about 10 people already running back and forth to the ocean with buckets of water trying to put it out. And then within 20, 30 minutes, there was like 200 people out here helping put, put out the fire. Because if like the fire were to just keep spreading, it would like burn down the whole town. Because it's just jungle, dry jungle everywhere. But thankfully, everybody was able to act quick enough and help out. And we were able to put out the fire. So you can see we did like this kind of like this border here around the fire where we were chopping the plants and like making it so the fire couldn't keep spreading. They were also, they had to cut down some of these dead trees because they were like on fire, and like way at the top of the tree was on fire. It's pretty crazy. And then there was people, we, were, we had like a chain. I kind of wish I would have got more footage of it, but I was a little in the moment trying to help. We had like a chain going from the bushes all the way to the ocean where we were passing like like 50 buckets back and forth. That way people didn't have to run back and forth, but instead just scoop up the water and send it up the chain of people. A bit more efficient. And yeah, it's kind of freaky because like forest fires, especially when it's dry, they can get out of control really quickly. But we got it under control. So that was good. But then I was thinking, I was like, this isn't the greatest thing because this is not the best time to have to put out a fire and everybody be in the same spot. Everyone's doing like self-quarantine, trying to stay away. And then because of this incident, we're all within like a few feet of each other, passing buckets of water and trying to put this thing out. So it like totally defeated the purpose of everybody kind of isolating and stuff. But hey, guess it is what it is. So I'm not sure if it's like these people don't know that you're not supposed to be at the beach or maybe they just figure if they get, if people come and tell them to leave, they'll leave. If not, oh gosh, I just realized there's somebody in that teepee. Sorry. 
I just realized there's somebody in that teepee right there and I was just climbing on the palm tree, the fallen over palm tree that was holding it up. And then I noticed that there was a lady there and she was looking around like, what the heck is going on? Because the whole teepee was shaking. Yeah, that happens sometimes. The day that we were putting out this fire, at the end of it, me and a few guys from around here, we were here at this palm tree trying to get some coconuts down from up there because we we're all pretty thirsty. It had been like a long, it took like two hours to totally put the fire out. It's exhausting. So we were using this stick. Where's the stick? Oh, here it is. We were using this piece of bamboo to kind of knock, knock them out. And I see one coconut. I don't think it's showing up on camera. There's like one coconut still right there. I don't know if you can see that one lonely coconut. So I think I'm gonna try to get it down with the piece of bamboo. Might be a little tricky because it's kind of way up there, but let's see, let's see what we can do. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is hit the, the part that's holding the coconut, not the actual coconut, and maybe that'll work. Oh, let's go. Sweet. We just got ourselves a coconut. So this is some good practice for if the end of the world gets really bad and you have to start living off the land, stores are closed. You gotta keep those skills nice and sharp, just like the knife we're about to use to open that coconut. All right, time to open up this coconut. What I usually do is pop off this little part and then just kind of hack at the rest of it. Hopefully this angle's all right. Try to not lose any fingers. Oop, there we go. Made contact. <laughs> We've made a breach. We've breached the coconut. For those of you that remember how my channel started, I used to be Kid Prepper. Back then, I was so, so into preparing, preparing for the zombie apocalypse, of course. What else would you be preparing for? And I guess those skills might come in handy in the near, near future. So, yeah, gotta sharpen up these skills. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Thank you for tuning in. The comments are now re-enabled, so drop a comment below. I'm gonna be replying to every single comment on this video because it's been so long since we've had comments. So this is really amazing. Remember to keep always doing more awesome stuff. And I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.